Hello Libra, I'm going to be doing your October 2020 love reading. This is going to be a 411 love reading where you're going to look at everything you need to know about your connection. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what are the mutual energies in your connection, like what's going on, what you need to know, uh, what's challenging the connection, are there any hidden factors, and the potential outcome. So we're going to be digging deep today. I'm going to start with... Actually, I think I'm going to start with the Romance Angels. Some Oracle cards here, just to see how you feel about each other. This will be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it's a general love reading, so it would not resonate with everyone watching. All right, Libra, let's get into this. For October 2020, spirit messages for Libra, please. In regards to love, for Libra. All right, Libra, let's see. How does Libra feel about this person? What are Libra's energies in this connection? Let's see for Libra. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes help out the channel a lot as well as your subscriptions. So thank you so much. All right, for Libra. All right, so for you, we got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so what about Libra's person, spirit? What about Libra's person? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I have you on this side and your person on the other Libra, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Um, so it looks like your person needs to actually put some work into this partnership or perhaps there's something that they need to do, like they need to make something happen in order for this relationship to work. Bottom of the deck, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So interesting, you might have been dating this person, talking to this person. So let's get some more information here. Tell me more, Spirit, for Libra regarding love for the month of October. Yeah. If you're interested in a personal reading, uh, any of my uh, Oracle decks, well, I only have one, but if you're interested in uh, a personal reading, cheat sheets, tarot journals, my ebook, whatever, all of that is listed in the description box below. All right, Libra, let's see. Tell me about Libra's energy here, spirit. Tell me about Libra's energy in this connection. What do we need to know? How are they thinking or feeling about this person? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Are you freeing yourself from a family situation? I feel like freeing yourself is telling me that you felt trapped in a situation and now you're regaining control. I have the King of Wands here. King of Wands, definitely um, they get things done. They are not shy about going after what they want. They are willing to take risks, measured risks. Um, so I feel like maybe something wasn't working out for you with this Ten of Pentacles reverse, whether it's financial, uh, whether it's a commitment, family situation, something wasn't working out well for you. And now you're motivated to get something done here. Okay, so let's see. What about your person? Tell me about Libra's person. What are their thoughts or feelings about Libra? Hangman reverse. So your person, I feel like, is kind of just waiting. Wondering if something is going to play out for them. Wondering if something's going to happen here. Let's get more information here. Tell me more about these energies, Spirit. Help me clarify. 
for Libra. What is going on with this Ten of Pentacles reversed? What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles reversed? Well, whatever it was, it was very heartbreaking for you. I feel like maybe you had a dream that was crushed here. Yeah, Chariot reverse, Ten of Pentacles reversed again. You felt stuck in a situation that was very heartbreaking, Libra. So what's this King of Wands about? Oh, yeah. You want a new beginning. Something, you know, it's like even though something is heartbreaking, even though what you're waiting for or what you were experiencing wasn't good. I feel like you are thinking about taking a risk here with the fool. I got one more for this king of one. Now remember this could be flipped. I don't know if I mentioned that just because I have you on this side and your person on the other does not mean that this cannot be uh, flipped. Three of cups reversed. Now you, you guys already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Maybe there was some sort of interference here in this connection that I felt like you were worried about at some point or affected you at, at, at one point, but no longer is affecting you. Tell me about your person here. Why is the hangman reverse? Why is the hangman reverse? Okay, so your person is trying to manifest something, but with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, I feel like they can't give you something right now. They have to make a choice. Maybe they're juggling between two people, two things here. Um, but a choice has to be made in order for them to manifest what they want to manifest. Tell me more about the Magician. Why is this manifesting? What are they trying to manifest here? Okay, so I think whatever they're trying to manifest here has to do with some sort of, it's like they're burdened or stuck on, on their end. I feel like you're mirroring each other, like you're both stuck and you're both trying to find a way out. Why is the Seven of Pentacles um, here? I was going to say reverse, but it's not reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. So your person, I feel, is probably worried about finances or probably is in a commitment or a situation where they are kind of like the provider here. Because I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the King of Pentacles upright here. Usually this to me is a married couple. Does not have to be married, but I feel like your person's like either worried about finances or is in some sort of family situation or, you know, committed situation. And once again, like this, like they're wondering if something's going to happen here, if they're going to have a new beginning, if they're going to have an opportunity here. And I feel like this opportunity is in regards to a partnership. I have the lovers here. So let's get more information about what's going on in this connection. Tell me more about what's going on in this connection for Libra and this other person. What's going on in this connection for Libra? If I could shuffle, that'd be great. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? Okay, we got not for you, number six. Co-create, number 40. What else is going on in this connection? Orphaned, wow. Number five. Serendipity at the bottom. I feel like whatever is happening here, someone was is very disappointed at something that was not able to be created or manifested here. Um... Maybe someone feels like, you know, they really wanted a commitment or they really wanted a situation to work out and it didn't and they feel maybe left out, abandoned, regretful.
But I have serendipity here, something unexpected. Expect the unexpected. That's what serendipity is about. Tell me what's going on here. Let's see. What's going on? If I could just, you know. What's going on here in this connection? That is way too many, but the magician is there. So I feel like your person, that's your person. I feel like your person is the magician. Right now, trying to figure something out. Trying to have an opportunity here. Tell me more, Spirit. What is going on in this connection? Can you tell me about the mutual energies here? Wow, Ace of Cups. There is love here. And the lovers, are you kidding me? Libra, there is love here. This is like love, partnership. So what happened? So what what happened? Something, it's like there's love, but something's not for you or something isn't working out for you. Can I get one more? Because someone feels orphaned. Some There's disappointment and heartbreak here. Can you tell me more about what's going on in this connection? For Libra. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Someone needs to make the effort. There's not enough effort being made. Um, maybe finances are an, a factor here. Something's not working. Then I have the chariot at the bottom. So something's not working out here. Look what I have there at the bottom. Six of Cups. Tell me more, what's going on here? Something is like not working out here or someone's not putting in the effort necessary. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, reverse. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? Reverse, please. Because a choice needs to be made. And I feel like this is your person, Libra, or whoever's on this side which for me is your person. Yeah, there's a delay. Something is very slow or almost like at a standstill here. Yeah. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune reverse. So something here is just the, not the right time or there are way too many obstacles here. Now, feel free to leave me, if this is resonating, leave me a comment and let me know what is the obstacle here because I feel like love is, an emotion is not it. Um, I feel like there's real love here, but I feel like you're both kind of weighed down by your situations. So let's see, what do you need to know, Libra? What do you need to know? About this situation. What do we need to know, Spirit? This is my homemade oracle deck. I'm working on making this a physical deck. What does Libra need to know? What do what do we need to know here, Spirit? About this connection. Trust. I needed to heal. It wasn't the right time. Timing is an issue here. Then that this is my card about like too much time or someone kind of worried about the timing of something. What else do we need to know about this connection between Libra and this person? What else do we need to know? Let's see, what else do we need to know? Compass, direction. Someone needs to choose a direction. Pick a, pick a path and, and, and head towards it. Number 50. And then we got sad embrace. Look at this. Look at these two pictures. Tell me they're not exactly the same pose. Someone sad, bent over. I feel like there has been something very heartbreaking that has happened between you. Um, and I feel like someone, in order for this to move forward, 
someone needs to make a decision here, choose a direction that they want to go in. Let's see if I can, I'll just put this back here. What else do we need to know? I feel like trust is required because there's something that you can't see right now, Libra. Like there's something that you can't really like, that you're either not aware of with serendipity, trust in a situation, or trust that something will work out here. Tell me more for Libra. What do they need to know? Sun reverse. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? And Ace of Wands reverse, yeah. So there's something here that's just not happening. There's delays. Four of Wands. This, there could be delays due to another um, connection, a partnership, a wedding, or a marriage, or a family situation, which is kind of the ongoing theme here. Why is the Sun reverse? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Sun reverse? Five of Wands reverse. So the fighting needs to be over. I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming that's just delayed. This is Ace of Coin. I feel like it's just delayed. I feel like also it's like there's something hidden about it because the sun reverse for me as a reader, it's almost like the clouds are blocking the sun or there's something blocking the sun's radiance. There's instead of light, there's shadow. So to me as a reader, the sun reverse can mean that there's something that's not out in the open that's not clear, right? Um, five of Wands reverse. I feel like someone wants the fighting to be over, the, the drama to be over, the, the conflict to be over, to find a compromise, put the egos aside. And then I have the Seven of Coin reversed. You know, we have it here upright and it showed up here reversed. This is someone that feels like maybe something has been a waste of time. Maybe they've been waiting for something to happen that is never meant to happen. Um, that kind of energy. So why the Ace of Wands reverse? I feel like what you need to know is that this is temporary. And that's why trust is required. Four of Swords. No movement, really. I feel like this new beginning is delayed, this Ace of Wands, because someone needs to take action. Wow. And it's probably, wow. Okay, we have the Death card and then the Eight of Cups reverse. So I feel like something's over and someone is either they're trying to wrap up a situation, end a situation in order to return, or they're unable to leave a situation because something still has to end here. Death card came out in uh, while I was shuffling as well. Let me look at number 50 here, the compass, because why not? You're entering uncharted territories right now. You can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost even on a starless night when all seems dark. So don't give up here, um, Libra, because I feel like if this is meant to happen, it will happen, no matter what the circumstances look like now. So let's see, what are the challenges here? I have too many decks on the table, but I think I'm just gonna stick with this same deck here. I'm gonna put this one. I feel like I'm running out of room. <laughs> What are the challenges, blockages, or hidden factors here? Challenges, blocks, 
or hidden factors for Libra. Wow, Ace of Wands, upright. That's the second time. I have another Ace of Wands here. So I feel like there is a new beginning that is still going to take place here. It's just challenged or blocked. Emperor, uh, Aries energy, this to me is it's time to take back control of your life. The Emperor is definitely someone that takes control of a situation, rebalances a situation. Why is the Ace of Wands blocked? Why is the Ace of Wands blocked? Five of Coin reverse, Eight of Coin. This is either financial, once again, either someone's recovering their finances here or has some sort of financial ties, financial, you know, something delayed because of their finances, or someone needs to recover what they've lost through work and effort. And until that happens, this new beginning is delayed. Tell me about the emperor. Why is this a challenge, a block, or a hidden factor here? King of Wands reverse. Yeah. I feel like this might be you trying to take back control of the situation, Libra. Oh, wow. And the sun upright. We keep getting that. We, you know, we also got the King of Wands for you. What's this? Page of Swords. Interesting. Conversations will be had. I feel like you're going to try to get to the bottom of something here through communication of some sort, either. Uh, text messages, a phone call, face-to-face, -face, whatever it is. The Page of Swords is all about um, figuring things out, having serious discussions, and the truth of something. For, uh, with the Seven of Swords reversed here, I feel like you're going to find out exactly what you want to know. I feel like this truth uh, is going to bring clarity. The sun. And this clarity will propel you forward. I feel like this clarity... This conversation, whatever truth this is that you uncover, is going to allow you to take back control of the situation. So let's look at the potential outcome here. So in the extended, I'm going to be clarifying this potential outcome further. We're going to be looking at your person's true intentions, what actions they'll take, and then we'll wrap it up with some advice from Spirit. So if this is resonating for you in any way, Check out the extended. The link is in the description box below. All right, Libra, what is the potential outcome here, Spirit? Potential outcome here for Libra and this person. Potential outcome for Libra. Page of Cups reverse. Potential outcome here for Libra and this person. Wow, judgment. Very powerful uh, major arcana there with judgment. And judgment is the card right before the world, right before a whole new cycle. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> Potential outcome here, please. One more card for Libra. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so you know what I'm seeing here? Actually, no, Four of Cups reversed. Sorry. Four of Cups reversed. This is a card all about having a change of heart changing your mind, having renewed interest in something that you lost interest in. Um, what I'm seeing here with the judgment card is there's going to be some sort of big awakening happening here in this connection. Um, either someone's going to have an awakening, like a personal awakening on their own that causes a change of heart, or someone's going to try to have a second chance here, a rebirth, uh, resurrect something and it makes more sense for me to resurrect something here I really feel like something that was very heartbreaking at one point someone wants to re resurrect this dead or heartbreaking thing because they've had a change of heart that's what I see here so far of course I'm gonna have to clarify in the extended but with the page of cups reversed I feel like this is something that is like someone really thought this wasn't for them someone really felt alone confused, heartbroken, couldn't really let go of the past here. I feel like all 
like this connection possibly um, just required someone to just make the effort. You know, it's like someone just needs to break make the effort here. And perhaps you felt like you had to free yourself from this connection because it was just too painful, too difficult to continue. And it could be because you're both weighed down by the situations you find yourselves in, whatever that situation is, whether it's another commitment, family issues, financial issues, whatever it is. I feel like this potential outcome here. I feel like this judgment card, sorry, is what I meant to say. I feel like this is going to allow someone to choose their direction. And I think for some reason, like this compass is reminding me a little bit of the wheel of fortune. You know, yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence that I have serendipity here at the bottom of the deck that I have the compass here. Um, uh, you know, I, and judgment right before the world, you know, it's like there's a shift I feel that's going to take place in this connection. So I'm going to take this to the extended. Thank you so much for watching, Libra. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. If you'd like to learn how to interpret all 78 cards of the tarot for love, check out my ebook that's linked down below as well. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. If this resonated for you, please let me know how it resonated for you in the comments. I love to hear from you and hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.